SurveyMonkey tutorial. How to use SurveyMonkey for beginners. Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can harness the technology of SurveyMonkey. So if you haven't got an account you'll have the opportunity to sign in or sign up. Once you have, you'll get to this page. This is basically your dashboard. Now, before you can actually create a survey, you need to go through the processes of completing your account. The first thing you're faced with is a quick survey, which you will have to complete. So it says, what kind of survey do you want to send first? So basically, we can have a look through this and we can choose what sort of survey we're actually looking at doing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just do market research because I've already prepared a survey. The next question it says is where, which of these tools do you use at least once a month? So you can choose a bunch of these tools in terms of what you use and then you can actually just say next. The next question says what industry do you work in? And you can basically just choose anything over here depending on what industry you work in. And then how would you best describe your survey experience? And I'm going to say novice. And we will now go through to how many surveys do you plan on sending this year? And we can say multiple surveys because we don't actually know. And then it says what is your role? So right here I'm just going to say other. And I'm going to say freelancer. And then we're going to say next. And then it asks, I am a, and you can just choose what it is that you are here. And you are now complete. So basically what it does is it says, thanks. We'll think you'll find these tips helpful. So they give you a bunch of tips and you can now move on to completing your profile. So once that is complete, we can just tap on complete your profile. And then it just asks you for your job role and your job level. So I'm just going to say owner manager. That's fine. And there are a few other things you can actually choose here. And you can just say next. And then it says your organization name. And then we're just going to say organization plus and we're going to say add your organization and you can add in your details here. So your organization, let us use in essence photography. Then it says design a survey. Now, once you get into design a survey, you will have the opportunity to really go through the details and they offer a lot of options so that you can design a survey that is unique to you. And so what you can do is you can either start a survey from scratch which is the left option and the right option is start your survey from a quick start template so what we're going to do is we're going to start one from scratch because I have already created a template so we can now just say survey title and a survey category and we can just say other and then we can just say create create survey now if you have a document that you'd like to create and you'd like to import your questions and your answers from you can do so however i'm going to show you how to do this manually so here is your outlay and it says page title and you can give your page a title and then we can enter our first question. Now what I did was I jumped onto chat GPT and I entered write me a customer feedback survey about the best fast foods in America. Now you can change all these details and you can create a survey with all the specifics that you would need. So here it is. It gives you a couple details in terms of what it's going to say on the header. And here is your first question. So we're going to copy that and jump back into SurveyMonkey and paste it right over there. Now it says, how frequently do you consume fast food? Here you can edit the actual text. You can put a link into the text. You can change the text color. And you can also insert an image, a video, or a tool tip. You can then, on the right-hand side, choose what kind of question this actually is. 
So it's either multiple choice, check boxes, star ratings, and so forth. There are a bunch of options, so you can really, really make your survey unique. So let's go back into our question answer on ChatGPT. And these are basically the questions, the answers to the questions that we have created. So how frequently do you consume fast food? And this will be a multiple choice and you can only select one. So let us say multiple choice and right down over here, we can select type and we can create the boxes that are going to be inserted. So if we turn that off, we can insert our questions, right, our answers right over here, excuse me. So the first one was daily, multiple times a week, and so on. So let us do this, daily, multiple times a week. And the others are once a week, occasionally, and rarely. You can say once a week. See, let us just close this. There we go. And once a week, occasionally, and we can put there never. Let's just correct that. And right over here, we can just say never. So, of course, you can change these answers you can also change the questions and there you go that is your first question and you have also selected the answers that they can choose from then right at the bottom here you can say score this question and that basically enables quiz mode use previous answer choices so you can carry forward your responses so let's say for example it says multiple times a week your next question could be on what days do you eat fast food so that is that feature right over there and then you can say add a none of the above or an other onto your answers and then you can say save once you've saved your question and your answer template and that's basically what this will look like so you'll have your page title right over here and you will have your questions and your answers. Now once you're done, you can add obviously as many questions as you need and then you can tap done. So once you've tapped done, it'll ask you to insert a done button. So it says this button appears on the last page only. So you can enter that there. You can also enter a previous button and a next button on your page. And you can say save. That will allow your survey to be toggled through from page to page. Once we are completely done, you can now say done. Right, so now your survey is actually saved. And right up at the top here, we can say preview survey. And that will take you into just basically this same page. It's a preview of your survey with all the titles and the buttons. On the right hand side, it also gives you an overview or some statistics on your page. It says estimated completion rate and estimated time to complete. And it also notifies you if there are any issues on your page. Right over there, it also says our work here is done. Now let's choose a way to send your surveys. On the left hand side, you will see that your survey looks like that. And you can also choose the format that your survey is being created in. So it'll either be in a uh, computer or a desktop view, in a tablet view, or a phone view. So you can actually just preview that and you can edit it accordingly. Then you can collect your responses or you can say next right up at the top. And this will basically publish your survey. So if you haven't yet got contacts on your platform, on your account, you can go click on that and say contacts. And in here, you can add your contacts. So you can either add a contact as an individual 
or you can import multiple contacts. And once that's there, your survey, you can choose to send your survey to either a group, individuals, or all of the contacts on your contact list. And there you go. SurveyMonkey is a fantastic way to create surveys and send it out to as many people as you'd like and whomever it is that you'd like to send it out to. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave us a like. And if you enjoy the content we produce, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.